There are a lot of ways to kill in Titanfall 2. Tracking rockets, magical flame waves, multicolored balls of lightning, or ionic particles. It's a wonderful spectacle watching a battle rage in this game. These fancy toys are nice, but I think bullets are sufficient most of the time. And I know a Titan that would agree with me. His name is Legion. Titanfall 2 currently features six Titan chassis, each with a set of unique abilities and kits that can slightly augment the way that Titan plays. Today, we're going to talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses of Legion. First, let's go over his loadout. His primary weapon is the Predator Cannon. It's a Gatling gun with a high capacity magazine and a high rate of fire. This weapon needs to spin up before it fires, and while it's spun up, Legion moves at a reduced speed. His tactical ability is Mode Switch. Activating this ability will toggle your Predator Cannon between its close and long range firing modes. The close range mode has a wide bullet spread, and the long range mode is more accurate and increases your magnification, but consumes additional ammunition per bullet. Next up is his Ordnance Power Shot. Based on which firing mode he has active, Legion charges up and fires a devastating blast. In close range mode, Power Shot acts like a shotgun, spraying an area with death. In long range mode, Power Shot is essentially a sniper shot. This ability consumes ammunition and the Predator Cannon must be spun up in order to activate it. His defensive ability is Gun Shield. It deploys a protective shield around the Predator Cannon which blocks incoming fire from the front while allowing Legion to continue his assault. When the Gun Shield is active, the Predator Cannon must remain spun up and ready to fire. This ability cannot be deactivated early. Finally, Legion's core ability is Smart Core. The Predator Cannon automatically locks onto anything in range. Unlike the other Titan Core abilities, using this one on Grunts and Spectres isn't a horribly bad idea, and it's incredibly fun. His first kit option is Enhanced Ammo Capacity. This gives the Predator Cannon 40 additional rounds. Next is Sensor Array. This increases the duration of Smart Core. Bulwark increases the amount of damage Gun Shield can block, and Lightweight Alloys increases your movement speed while spinning up the Predator Cannon. Now, let's see how all this stuff works on the battlefield. We're going to do something a little different this time. We're going to talk about Legion's pros and cons simultaneously, because understanding this Titan's weaknesses is the key to being successful with him. First off, everyone is afraid of Legion. In a one-to-one -one trade, let alone a lopsided fight, Legion will rip buttholes open. His sustained damage output is insane, and if you get caught in his reticle for an extended time, it's game over. Problem is, Legion needs to keep targets in his... sights for an extended period of time to deal his maximum damage. Most people will use the environment to fight against you, ducking behind walls and corners, but remember, you're playing as one of the toughest titans in the game. When people try to run, go man mode and chase after them. Something I love and hate about Legion is his all or nothing playstyle. Because he's slow and doesn't have any innate dash charges, if you commit to a situation, your fate is sealed for better or for worse. Even with an additional dash from a titan kit, you'll hardly be winning any races against Ronin. But even though you might find yourself chewing on the salty end of the stick more often than not, just remember, you don't have to go to the grave by yourself. Make your enemies regret trying to push the Legion. Like I mentioned earlier, everyone is afraid of Legion. He punishes enemy titans for stepping too far out of cover and into his line of sight. While this can be frustrating when you just want to turn titans into different types of holy cheese, you and your teammates can use this to your advantage. The Predator Cannon is great at dissuading enemies from crossing thresholds when used in the close range firing mode. In long range mode, it's more difficult to suppress enemies because of the reduced ammunition capacity, but lucky for you, Legion can switch firing modes on the fly. And when all else fails, he can take a cue from Soldier 76 and say, I've got you in my sights. When you activate Smart Core, you have unlimited ammunition for the duration, so if you really want to pin down the enemy or straight up rip them in half, activate Smart Core, hold down the trigger, and march forward. Damn it, industries better stay. 
step up their Titan armor with you around. It's easy to think you can sit around in close range mode all day and spray bullets until the end of time, but Legion's firing modes are vitally important to his performance. It's a bit self-explanatory, but when his targets are far away, switch to long range mode, and when they're close, use close range mode. Additionally, the way Power Shot functions with his modes is very important as well. If you see a Ronin getting ready to chase you down, blast him back with a close range Power Shot. If you're fighting anyone at range and need a quick burst of damage, the long range power shot will get the job done for you. All in all, Legion is a very powerful titan with a lot of quirks that make him both fun and frustrating. He's a big lumbering oaf with the most advanced bullet hose money can buy. It's one of the strongest titan weapons in the game, but because everyone knows this, most of your opponents will be cowering in fear instead of running towards their inevitable demise. Also, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but he's a big lumbering oaf. Legion feels like the slowest titan in the game, even slower than Scorch, and it's all because of the way the Predator Cannon functions. Because it has to spin up, and because it reduces your movement speed while it's spun up, it can feel like it's taking you ages to get across maps. But as much of a pain in the ass as Legion can be to pilot sometimes, he's a lot of fun, and he thinks we're better off together. So. I guess that means we're bonded for life. One last tidbit about Legion, because he's so big, slow, and methodical, if you're not running with a coordinated team, or at least communicating on mic, you're gonna find that your methods will devolve into madness more often than not. Saying simple things like, my gun shield is ready, my smart core is ready, I'm gonna charge in, you guys need to back me up, that will go a tremendously long way towards having more fun and more success with Legion. And there you go, this has been an overview of Legion, the sixth and final Titan in Titanfall 2. But not to worry, this is not the end of the Titan-related content. There is still much to discuss, so stay tuned for more. As always, the name of the game is Titanfall 2, the name of the channel is iBlueAirJJR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.